Nadszedł czas zmiany, przejścia do prawdziwego działania Wszechświata. I nadszedł czas, aby zrozumieć, że używamy stanu materii, by osiągnąć poziom zrozumienia duszy człowieka. Teraz rozumiesz, być może, dlaczego Kreator wysłał swoich posłańców w imię tego, co miałeś. To oni przynoszą uszy, aby można było ich użyć, gdy nadejdzie czas Mesjasza. Mogę nauczyć duszę i przesłanie. Nie by się przeciwstawiać, ale poprzez ich zrozumienie przez tych, którzy stali się Mesjaszami, aby dawać ze swoich dusz, aby ich elewować. Zadanie stało się łatwe. Szkoła jest tutaj i uczniowie są tutaj w oddaniu. Wtedy nie będzie żadnej walki między tym, co nazywają muzułmanami a chrześcijanami. Baranek i Lew będą jeść i spać w tym samym gnieździe. Chrześcijanie i muzułmanie będą spać i modlić się w meczecie, w tym samym kościele, w imię ich dusz, nie w imię religii, które są używane do tworzenia tak wielu konfliktów, dla korzyści tych, którzy byli hiperaktywnymi dziećmi. Nadszedł czas, czas zmian jest tutaj. I jak powiedziałem, moje życzenie jest moim rozkazem. Jeśli pragniesz ujrzeć pokój, droga pokoju jest wyłożona bardzo wyraźnie. To dusza świadomości zbiorowej. Poprzez dawanie stworzy tą pozycję zmiany. Nic innego. W duszy człowieka nie ma długopisu. Jestem pewien, że po wejściu do społeczności uniwersalnej nigdy nie zobaczysz niczego zapisanego, ale równowagę pól w duszy egzystencji. Staraj się być na tyle pokornym, aby nie stać się aroganckim w mocy, którą zrozumiałeś i posiadłeś. Inaczej wpadniesz w tą samą ścieżkę kościoła i meczetu. To jest to, co obiecaliśmy i to właśnie dostarczyliśmy. Musimy zrozumieć działanie duszy i musimy zrozumieć, że dusza człowieka jest gwiazdą w kosmosie Wszechświata. Jeśli porównamy duszę człowieka i tak wielu nas, 7 miliardów w jednym zbiorze, Ziemia jest jak galaktyka z tak wieloma gwiazdami. Kiedy patrzymy w głąb Wszechświata, widzimy galaktyki z setkami milionów gwiazd. Podobnie jest z planetą Ziemią. Niesie 7 miliardów pięknych gwiazd, które są duszą człowieka. Niesie z sobą duszę tak wielu trylionów zwierząt, roślin i wszystkiego innego. Jeśli więc patrzą ci, którzy nie widzą fizyczności Ziemi i jej zawartości, co widzą? Widzą galaktykę z wielką ilością pięknych, świecących świateł. Każda według swojej siły. Każda zgodnie ze swoją pozycją. Niemowlę ma piękną duszę, podobnie jak staruszek. Dla tych niefizycznych, którzy nie widzą fizycznego wymiaru tej planety, ale widzą siłę pola, jesteśmy gromadami gwiazd. Ludzka rasa, każda pojedyncza dusza, nikt z daleka nie widzi. To jest dusza rybaka, to jest dusza kosmologa, to jest dusza prezydenta. 
Wszystkie świecą bez względu na fizyczność. To jest magia. O to, co nowa nauka musi przynieść człowiekowi. Kiedy patrzymy przez naszą duszę, widzimy tylko gwiazdy w innych duszach. I to jest przełom. To jest zrozumienie. Na tym właśnie polegają te wszystkie nauki. Dojście do dojrzałości następnego poziomu, aby zrozumieć daleki kosmos. Wszechświat jest ostrygą dla tych dusz, które służą. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy do wejścia w kosmos. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy, aby stać się częścią uniwersalnej społeczności, która została obiecana. Nigdy nie obiecywałem wam nieba. Zawsze obiecywałem wam elewację człowieka, aby przyłączył się do rodziny. A teraz macie klucz. To wy musicie otworzyć drzwi, aby zrozumieć, że mogę elewować duszę tych ludzi lub milionów innych dusz, że fizyczne życie na tej planecie zmieni się. Wtedy jestem godny bycia częścią społeczności uniwersalnej, by być, aby służyć, aby się rozwijać, by być tam, aby być częścią, że w cyklu życia wszechświata staje się w byciu częścią, staje się częścią totalności. Kiedy człowiek osiągnie ten punkt, pojawi się nowy wymiar w sile duszy człowieka, który jest poza wyobrażeniem zrozumienia życia fizycznego. To jest brama do otwarcia nowego życia w nowym wymiarze, co jest poza wyobrażeniem tego, co mogliście nazwać nowym początkiem, nowym cyklem, gdzie ten cykl niesie ze sobą źródło stworzenia życia we Wszechświecie i Unikosie. To jest elewacja duszy, aby służyć. Stała się kluczem. Nie tron życia fizycznego. Czas jest odpowiedni, nadszedł czas, aby człowiek przeszedł przez ten proces. Witamy wszystkich bardzo serdecznie na 254 warsztatach poszukiwaczy wiedzy w języku polskim. Dzisiaj mamy niedzielę, 28 kwietnia 2019 rok i tematem jest kolejny warsztat poszukiwaczy wiedzy. Jest to 272 i mamy czas od 9 minut do godziny 39 minut, tak więc zapraszam do wysłuchania i obejrzenia bo myślę, że ten warsztat też dużo nam da do zrozumienia i kolejne, następne również. Tak więc mamy dużo przetłumaczone, tak więc zacznijmy. Thank you very much. Good day, good good morning, good afternoon to you as usual, wherever and whenever you listen to these knowledge seekers series of workshops. We have started a new cycle of teaching and in this process of teaching we learn a lot and we teach a lot and in so many ways it is part of the progressive understanding of the totality 
which we have set out to start some decades ago and be more or less reaching the pivotal point of all the teachings. These teachings um, are more or less coming to the natural conclusion and in this process of all the teachings we've done we have taught everything from the matter state from the plasma state and in the process of understanding more we came to understand the process of working of a plasma condition which we call the soul of the man the same as the soul of the planet we hear the stars and the planets and the human body and all the animals they all have a heartbeat and that heartbeat is the manifestation and confirmation of the life of physical life the physicality but the soul of the man has a heartbeat too the soul of the man in so many ways in this operation is no different than the soul the structure of the soul of the star what is the purpose of this beat? what is this purpose of life a life within the life which through its manifestation leads to confirmation of creation and in a way collective or a collection of the work of fields together whichever we look whatever we look all the works of the universe is exactly the same it's just how you positioned and how you position something that it leads to that point in life of man there is a problem between the two heartbeats the heartbeat of the soul of the man and the heartbeat of the physicality of the man. Planet and the stars usually have a one, one heartbeat. In some cases we find two. In some cases the stars and they're what we call twin sisters collectively one heartbeat responds to the other and this is how the strength of the fields of the stars tune to each other with the heartbeat of their souls as is the same when the heartbeat of the physicality of the man tunes with the heartbeat of the soul of the man if man understands this man will come to one thing which has been the prime objective of all the teachings which is peace when the heartbeat of the man and the heartbeat of the soul of the man match and work together the physicality of the man find peace in any dimensions in the universe In so many ways, there is always a dimension of physicality for confirmation of the existence of one to the other. There is always a need to understand this. Why man has failed to conquer the space? is because man has not understood the reality and the fact 
about this work of the universe. In so many ways, in the literature of the man in the past times, you have spoken about the Adam and Eve. We have spoken about how Eve made Adam, or how Adam made Eve. One gave the existence of physicality, and one through that existence confirmed the confirmation of the soul of the other. We always look what Adam gave, but we don't look that what Adam gave was to confirm his own existence, his own love, to confirm the dimension of the physicality. Otherwise, it would have been the essence of the work of the universe without dimension. In a way, if you look at it, the Creator wanted to confirm his own creation and his own existence. And the man was told the story, but at that time man could not understand. In the life of the human race, man has separated the two. And this is why man cannot find peace within himself and with the society of the mankind. When mankind reaches the point that the totality of the soul of the man and totality of the soul of the earth work in harmony as one heartbeat, then the physicality of the man will become part of and works the same. And man shall find peace, and then man will join the Universal Family. This is very harsh for a lot of people to understand. But, in so many ways, this will unravel itself in the coming time. Man will come to understand that it's him who is holding himself back from the knowledge of the universe, from the peace of universe. And through this, man finds the dilemma of justification of physicality in every means and dimension. Today's knowledge seeking is about seeking for peace and not seeking for the knowledge of making reactors for a space or gases. Mankind will not be able to reach the ultimate goal unless man finds peace with himself. Unless man finds peace with his own Creator, which in so many ways man looks into creation of the God, or whatever name put on it. But, he was created from the interaction of the fields of his own star. And then a star with his own galaxies and the dimension of the universe. But what we need to understand is, how can we take man now to the dimension that without much effort, man can enter the realm of the Universal Community through the peace with himself. In fact, it's the greed of the man wanting more, which has stopped the man to become part of. Whatever he give the man is not enough. Because he always strives to have more, and in the process of having more, he strives to kill other animals, other things, other people's soul, just to have, to have, to possess. 
And this is what I've said many times in all the teachings. Detachment is the essence of existence and essence of peace. Detachment not from the dimensions of life, but detachments from in harming the others for you to survive. In so many ways, the peace has to start within the physical structure of the man, his soul, the heartbeat of his soul and the heartbeat of his physicality. Man knows this, but never understood. We see through our physical life, we race with the heartbeat of the young child. And as we come to the time of reaching the point of achievement to tune with our soul, we reach the point of old age. The heartbeat tunes to the heartbeat of the soul. And at the point of the separation of the two, the two heartbeat beat as one. And this is the time, the, the physicality of the man in his dimension of his soul separates from is structure in the soul of the man with the heartbeat of the physicality take the flight of the freedom. Many people cry they want to achieve peace, but they don't understand the structure of the peace. The reason I brought this teaching forward is because in one of the private teaching, due to interaction of the soul of the man, we released the knowledge which was not supposed to be released to the man. But after a couple of weeks of deliberation, we have made the decision as in that teaching, we asked the teaching to be erased, but the knowledge has already been shared with a number of the knowledge seekers. We share this knowledge in public today. If man understands this, then man will enter what you call in your languages, the gate of heaven. The gate of heaven is finding peace and nothing else. In so many ways, when the eye of the physicality opens into the eye of the universe, you do not need more than one eye to see the totality. The structure of the body of the man with two eyes is the elaboration of his physical work, one of the soul and one of the physicality. In so many ways, when man understands why he has two sections in his brain, why everything is in two pieces, and why the totality of the two work together to create the dimension of the soul of the man, then man will understand that the peace comes with the interaction of the physical soul of the man as part of the heartbeat of the man. Why do we have that heartbeat right across the whole physical structure of the man? Because it's there to, in so many languages, as you call it in man's word, unify. The heartbeat of a man is not just a noise. The heartbeat of the man is to homogenize 
all the strength of the all the sub souls of the man from every cell. Maybe you understand now more. In so many ways, when you have a star and you beat, it homogenizes all the strength that it can carry and no more. And that heartbeat shows what it can, what it possesses, what is made of, its signature. It's the signature of its existence, it's the signature of the strength of the fields which it carries and no more. When you speak on the microphone, what you say is the strength of what you carry, the information when you, go, you want to give. When you send certain frequencies of noise, is that what you want to send? That's what the capability is. So it's the same with the heartbeat of the soul of the man and the planet. Every heartbeat dictates the strength, the position of the strength, and in what capability it can work with it. In one of the ways that the body of the man has managed to interact with the soul of the man, and in a way, in the past, we have called it the third eye. What is the truth about the third eye? Is there a confirmation that it exists? Or is it, in fact, the eye of the soul of the man? As man could not understand, the soul of the man is within the physicality of the man. Now that we know, and we know the two eyes of the man, are the eyes of the physicality, so the soul of the man has to have the same. The eye, which at the point of interface, sees the same as the man, and what it sees, it can share with the physicality at the rate of the same heartbeat. What does this mean? Many of you know, that when you are in the position of the physical rest, you call it, a, you enter the land of dreams. And you see with the physical eye, but in fact, there is no tangibility of physicality. <laughs> in one of the recent teachings, we open this, and we see it as obligation to be opened up to the future point. As I said, when we share with one, we share with a lot. We did not want to share this, but as part of the teaching, it was released, so we bring the same position. If you look at the eye of the man, And if you put the skull of the man, where sits the soul of the man? In so many ways, when the fields of the soul of the man 
enters through the specific position like the dimension of the soul of the man to enter into the dimensions of the universal community as it passes through the point and as the two eyes of the man are built to have exactly twin stars in parallel it leaves in interaction with these some of the information as it goes back and forth between the universal community and the soul of man and what man sees in a dream is this information this is why our dreams are physical vision to us in fact what we see as the information goes through if I can draw this as an eye and this as a soul and this as a physicality of the man with his nose as the information travels back and forth in a way in that spot some of the information transfers to the dimension of physicality and man sees it as a dream this is the third eye of the man you call it but the fact is the eye of the soul of the man and when you look into the skull of the man there is a specific hole which accommodates for this as the rest of the skull, the bone structure of the man has blocked the rest for the dimension of the physicality of the brain of the man. Now many of you might understand what the third eye means, what it means to be the actual, the soul of the man, is the way, the line of the communication of the physicality of the man, picking up, in a way, like somebody standing on top of, in the communication between the two parts, and listening to the conversation, between the soul of the man, and what you call the subjects, the mom, the dad. But what is interesting, man only understands part of this communication which he has the knowledge of, not the other part which is belongs to the communication, understanding of the work of the soul of the man and it's universal community. It has, and it lives, and it works through this way. There is no other way to explain it. For those of you who were looking to make the line of communication with the soul of universal community, we have given you the key today. If you are mature enough to understand. In reality, this is the soul of the universe, where the rib of the Adam was the physicality of the man. Now, find any excuses or try to create a dimension to understand the work 
and the line of the communication between the soul of the man and his universe. When man understands this line of communication and become mature enough to understand this, man has entered the everlasting peace. Then, he feeds through this channel, the physicality of the man, and not for the man to kill, to confirm existence, in the dimension of physicality. In the coming time, very soon, now that we have taken this path, mankind will mature into the dimension of universal community. The dimensions for unification of the man does not come through the sword or through the blame. It will come through the peaceful actions of the nations that the soul of the totality elevates. I cannot say much, but it's time for the man to understand that the time of the completion of all the teachings of past thousands of years has arrived. And for man to understand how and where, and the time for it, has already been planned out. It is part of these teachings, which we have to unveil the truth, the reality, and how we shall handle this. The whole operation of the work of the Foundation, on the disguise of the knowledge, was to create the condition for peace, for mankind to walk into it by itself, and not by lying to himself, as it's entered. Not by the motion of the greed of the man to possess all, but by the humbleness that I missed due to my own greed. Greed to kill, greed to possess, greed to be part of the totality when the totality has already been given to the man. Now you understand why many times I have said I'm ashamed to be in the rope of the man. My knowledge is for mankind to achieve peace, but somehow my knowledge has become Ganses and other materials and stealing the soul of the others by attempt of possessing what you cannot possess unless you are truthful to your own heartbeat of the soul and heartbeat of the physicality. It does not matter what excuses you make around it to justify this. World peace will only come when man understands the totality of his own existence, the totality of the heartbeat of the physicality and the heartbeat of the soul of the man and his connection to the heartbeat of the soul of the universal community. So, if you understood in a simple language, 
as your heartbeat here tunes up with the heartbeat of the soul of the man, then the same has to be tuned to the heartbeat of the soul of the universe. As none have physical dimension. Lying to the dimension of physicality would not lie to the soul of the man. Does not matter how you dress up the access to the soul of the universal community. All open shall be seen. We are not looking for man to answer and change ways. We are looking for the man to understand to comprehend and set up new ways. In a simple way, I explain about the work of the Chinese in the last teachings, that the government is creating the condition of peace and prosperity. And that is exactly what has been the problem, creating the condition of peace for the soul of the man through the existence of the soul of physicality, that the two heartbeats work together in harmony, that through it man finds access to universal community. As I said in the past teachings, to join the universal community you do not need to take yourself to the space of above Earth, above the solar system. What man has to understand is that he himself is part of universal community. He himself is part of this structure. He is already in the space why the man is looking to get into space. The Earth is part of the universal community, so is the soul of the man. But man has, in a way, embedded himself, entangled himself into trying to get what he already has, and he has blinded himself into. Now, how do we progress? How do we achieve peace? We have always retaliated and we answer back to justify where the wisdom comes from understanding and in a way working towards the final goal to find peace with our souls. Justification does not come by retaliation. Justification does not come by trying to answer, to be there. Peace comes when one understands the totality. This is part of the, all these teachings. Find peace between the operation of the heartbeat of the physicality of the man and the heartbeat of the soul of the man then, as you have seen, when you put two reactors together, and when the fields interact, like gravitational field and magnetical field, they will spread and create the new dimension of sphere of fields. So, this body has to be, this is what mankind has to learn, that the heart 
heartbeat of the physicality of the man, in conjunction and interaction with the heartbeat of the soul of the man, will bring unanimity, collaboration, cooperation, tuning into the soul of the universal community. As I said in my teachings before, I have not come here to create another religion, another prophet, another gurus, another groups. I've come here to bring man into universal community. You do not need a plane, a jumbo jet, a spaceship or a donkey, but you have to find and understand the operation of the soul of the physicality of the man and his existence within and with the heartbeat of the soul of the man. In so many ways, the eye of the man is the vision of the universal community. But man has chosen only to decipher what he sees in the dimension of physicality. What would be the future for mankind as of today? Mankind as a whole has to work. Find the dimension and the strength of the heartbeat of the soul of the man, and the heartbeat of the soul of the physicality of the man, and as all the mankind and all existence on this planet are tuned to the strength of the amino acid, so the totality of the creation on this planet will find peace and harmony. And at that point, man will reach peace. Peace within his own physicality, peace between the soul of the man and the physicality of the man, which will diminish all illnesses at one instance, and then the balance between the heartbeat of the soul of the man with the heartbeat of the soul of the universal community. Then man does not need ever to leave this planet as the dimension of the soul of the universal community will take man to see the whole of the universe, even the soul of the creator. If you don't understand, maybe I can explain it another way. If you want to see the celebration of the Olympic, do you all need to go where the Olympic is? Or do you allow the cameras to bring celebration of unification of the sportsman of this planet through the dimension of the vision of the cables to your home. So, this shall be the process for mankind into the entry into the universal community. Where the eye of the universal community will become the camera, become the portal to the vision of the man, to the totality of the universe. You all been waiting for the spaceship, and you all been waiting to travel with your souls in the depth of the universe. Now you know all you need to know is to find peace between the heartbeat of the man in the dimension of physicality and his soul. Because that's how the soul of the man has connection with the soul of the universal community. Then, 
which Olympics, or which event, or which beautiful part of this universe would man like to see, through the vision of the universal community. Can you close your microphone, please? This is what we're talking about, peace. Mankind has been waiting for the new technology to silence the guns, to silence the nuclear bombs, to silence those leaders who do wrong to their citizens and to the other men of this planet. In fact, the teaching of the peace has been the peace between the man in the dimension of soul of his physicality and the soul of his existence. Then, man needs no arms, man needs nothing to defend, man does not need home to kill for, to destroy for, and man does not need to kill to survive, but through understanding of creation of the heartbeat of the physicality of the man, and the heartbeat of the soul of the man, he will tap into the universal energy, that through it, through the soul of the man, will feed the heartbeat of the physicality, which through the distribution of his energy and his own strength, feeds every cell of the body of the man, in respect to his dimension, the position, or space in the universe. I am the beginning, I am the end, where I know I came from the beginning to be the end, and by end I get confirmation to existence at the beginning. Now, fight with the greed to have more. Fight with the greed to possess more, even though you have uprooted your own base to possess. Not taken from you, but it's you who have denied the confirmation of the gift given to a kind. I write with the pen of my soul. You write with the pen of not understanding the totality of the knowledge. Man needs to mature, to understand that peace in the language of universal community is to find balance and coherence an understanding between the soul of the physicality and the soul of the man in a dimension of the heartbeat of the two, which tunes itself to the heartbeat of the universal community. Then you all become instantaneously passengers of the universe, without you ever leaving this planet. The way your soul does, when the heartbeat, the tune, changes at the time of the rest of the physicality. Man has never understood why man travels the depth of the universe through his soul at the time of the rest of the man, in most of the time. Because the heartbeat at the time of the rest changes its strength and does not tune to the dimension of the heartbeat of the soul of the man. And at that time, the soul of the man is free, flight, fantasy of his own interaction with the rest of universal community. This is what creation of the man has been based on.
this is how you create taste in the lips and the tongue of the man. This is how you create emotion within the structure of the physicality of the man. And man has to understand this. Why do I smell different smells? Why do I taste different taste? Why do I have emotion in respect to different emotions? What is it? How does it create itself and how is it created? We had this understanding by the cup and the orange and the banana. Nobody understood how you transfer. The transfer comes to different strength and when you create in your soul, through the dimension of physicality, that strength, you get the taste of orange. We have not put the orange in the water, but you have created the dimension of the field of the orange, and you get the taste of orange. So, in your soul, and in dimension of the emotion of physicality, Create the taste of peace, and you shall have peace. The guns will silence themselves. When there is no soldier to carry a gun, you can make a pile of them on the side of the road, no one will touch. Because you believe in trust of the totality of the peace of the man. When you travel in Africa, you see on the side road of the streets, main roads, or anywhere else, piles of everything. Melons, plant pots, no one touches. Because man understand the condition of the peace, I steal a stolen from myself. You put the same plant pots in the same soul in the most advanced nations of the world, in the center of Liverpool, it will not be there in one second. This is what man has to mature itself to. Africans have matured to that level. But the white man in Liverpool still thinks he's too clever, stealing from the physicality and the soul of itself. Every second in European countries, number of cars are stolen. Which means you take from the soul of the man who has given so much to possess it, puts his life and soul in it. Not what watermelon gets touched on the streets of Accra. This is what I say, you have to create condition of peace for the 
dimension of the soul of the man. And then you understand. Peace within the soul, created by the world leaders for the nations, brings peace for the rest of humanity. I had the pleasure and the joy of walking through what you call Forbidden City of China, very recently. And I had the pleasure to witness how the correct conduct of a nation, leaders create a peace within the nation. There were tens of thousands of people as you ever been to Beijing and you walked to go to see the Forbidden City. People come from all walks of the life to see the beauty of the culture. In a crowded path, on top of the stairs, I noticed a backpack with a beautiful young girl wide open. iPad, laptop, with a zip open, and on the back, and she was busy with her phone. I said to the knowledge seeker, I said to tell her to close her back, people will take. And I was made to shame. She says, no, the, the girl which had the backpack, says nobody touches anything here. The country is safe. I am safe, nobody will put hand in my backpack. And then I enjoyed how peaceful the nation is. And at the same time, some times ago, I was standing on the central station of the Belgium train station, to get the train to Ordine, which is in the south of Belgium. I saw a Belgium unzipping a Korean woman's backpack and putting his hand in. It's the nature of the nation. I said to him, what are you doing? He said, nothing to do with you, it's not yours, what I'm stealing, is it? A nation is thief by nature and its citizens. A nation is as peace by its nature, that people have the confidence they can leave everything Created of condition of peace has to come through the leaders of it that gives the condition for peace for mankind. And then through that, man will find a peace through his heartbeat, through the heartbeat of the soul of the man, and man enters the universal community. Why does man has to wait till it dies, till achieves a freedom of physicality, where man can find that in the time of his physical existence, and then extend the life of the man to forever lasting. This is why we see the growth and prosperity of a nation, because the nation is becoming at peace with itself. The leaders of the nations have to create a condition that the citizens find peace, that through it they find a peace between their souls and their physicality, and in totality mankind enters 
and becomes part of universal community as the man already is citizen of a spaceship called Earth in the span of the universe. When you have misguided leaders, you end up with misguided citizens. And then, you find every word to find justification for the misconduct of the physicality of the man to confirm is my right to have. But the greed of the man has to understand the position of the soul of the man, the heartbeat of the man, and be content with achieving peace within the physical structure of the man. These are not sermons, these are the teaching which the man needs to enter universal community to find peace on this planet. When a number of you reach this point, that the magnosphere of your conduct of your souls in finding peace reaches the others of the same strength across this planet, then the planet shall glow. And with it, will enlighten the rest of the soul of this physical existence then man enters peace for all creatures, and not only for mankind. Through the soul of the man, you feed the soul of the plant, the fish, the lion, that through you they receive, they shall not kill. And this is the wisdom of the time. Tomorrow, for those of you who are in the path of believer of the Christ, that's his name, you celebrate that freedom. But, through the forced separation of the physicality, the heartbeat of the man from his soul. We call the crucifixion of Christ. But, if you look, it's a symbolic, the crucifixion of the man's soul, in the dimension of his physicality, doesn't matter what man, where from, which color, which race, which path of the There is a soul free to complete the first the sphere of the totality of the peace for mankind to kindle the light of peace on this planet. That soul has been here for a long time. needs the correctness of conduct and peace with those who understand they can reach and they have access to it and can create a condition for kindling the first light of peace on this
the burden of responsibility is huge. But the understanding of the truth, needs the understanding of the truth, of the man to himself and no one else. It's been my job to bring the knowledge. And many world leaders have stopped listening and creating the condition for a spread of the knowledge. Many of you have earned and yearned to have, and now you understand where to go to. In so many ways, if I change my breathing, would I change my heartbeat that it tunes to my soul that I can achieve the dimension of awareness and become part of the universal community? Or do I chase in the path of killing that I can never achieve? Many of you remember, I have mentioned this many times. The man who think, design of the bullet, and the man who finds the bullet, as they cause the suffering of the separation of the physicality of the man, of his heartbeat, and the heartbeat of his souls, before reaching the natural process, they all have to pay for. So is those who betray. And they justify, try to justify. You betray a physicality from his soul, a whole lot have to pay, this shall be the same with one or the other. Does not need justification. The process of peace, in a way, has started as of today. Before starting of the day today, I have written many words. In so many ways, is to start the candle of the peace between the heartbeat of the man and the physicality dimension of the universal. And it's for the maturity of the totality to reach and receive and not for one to think I am. You looked for spaceships, you looked for ganses, and you looked how to get your soul. Now I have given you the key to the freedom of the soul to reach the soul of the universal community, and through that. The way you watch what's happening on this planet through the eye of physicality, through the eye of universal community, you will see the whole beauty of the creation, even the Creator. It depends what you set your vision to. You want to set your vision to thieving and killing, then stay with the heartbeat of the man. You want to set your vision to seeing the soul of the Creator, understand the connection, 
which is the heartbeat of the soul of physicality, and the heartbeat of the soul of the man, which is already tuned to the soul of universal community. It's for man to choose the flight system. And that depends on the maturity of the man himself. Nothing else. And this is what I've always said. Man will take from this knowledge according to his intelligence. Where the intelligence of the man comes from, do I want to be on the donkey of the man? Or do I want to be in the dimension of the soul of the universe. You do not need no aircraft and no jumbo <sighs> Now we understand why the teaching of today is one of the most crucial teachings of the time. Because for the first time you understand how to tune the heartbeat of the man to harmonize with the beat of the soul of the man that through it, the soul of the man will take the physicality of the man to universal community. And that choice is yours and no one else. Contemplate and understand the teaching of today. Then you understand, mankind has entered a new phase as of today. It's become harder and harder for mankind to find, to justify new ways of mass killing each other. As more and more have matured and become matured. But, in so many ways, Is mankind ready to become mature, to find peace, that through that peace it becomes the source of life for all those who exist on this planet? The difference with the Son of Man is that it's made of the same amino acid as the rest of the creation of this planet. So it's already in shown. The Son cannot feed the soul of the man as he has to interact with the heartbeat of the physicality, where the soul of the physicality of the man through the soul of the man is already made of the conversion. The beat of the soul of the sun 
it's that much higher frequency as you call it, or the strength. But the soul of the man has already downgraded to the level that he can reach every other creation of this world. As the leaf, the fish, and the physicality of the man are all made of the same amino acid. I call it Mr. Cohen. And maybe you understand. It's a very nice Jewish name because it's very stingy. And he likes to hold on to everything. But on the other hand, is a source of life for the totality, as it is at the strength of the totality. Now you understand how even the soul of the Prophet of the past have shared with the soul of the man. Now we extend that sharing to the totality of all the souls of the creation on this planet and through it to the rest of the universe. The world peace is for the first time at the grass reach of the man. We raise through our souls, the soul of the world leaders to change to that and rise to teach the mankind how to find a path through it to find peace on this planet that the totality of the creation on this planet can enter the universal community to be part of, not to fly, to become part, as you already are the passengers of the spaceship of death. You would like to confine your physicality into a smaller dimension, you'd like to live in a submarine, you quite welcome. You'd like to live in a tin pot and call it a spaceship, you're quite welcome. You'd like to sentence yourself into a prison of a space and time of yourself, you're quite welcome. We have given you the freedom of the universe. It's you who have chosen the prison of the earth. We still build factories for you else because this is the condition of it. We still will build everything else that you all can survive on a physical dimension. But is this our purpose? Not really. Not my. I have to become a shepherd to get the flock of the life on this planet in the right path. And in so many ways I'm tired. These are really
Hello, Mr. Cash. I think we lost your audio there. Still not hearing you, Mr. Cash. Hello. Hello, Mr. Cash. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we lost the last minute minute or so there. Yeah, I could hear you typing away. I heard you telling me you lost me, but you cannot hear me. Okay. Maybe the upload was not. What did you hear last? Uh, can someone remind me of what the last thing that Mr. K that we heard from Mr. Cash? Yes, he had a sentence there saying, "In so many, so many ways, I'm tired." He, your last sentence was, "In so many ways, I'm tired," and then you dropped. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I'm back again. Can you tell me what you heard last? Yeah, Flint just said that um, uh, you were saying that you were tired, and that's when it faded out. Yeah, you see, that's why I feel I got tired. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the computer knows when to choose his time. <laughs> and, and and the creator has the same problem. He says, do not tell them. In so many ways, you're tired of these unruly children called human race. Does the creator push the restart button then? We've done many times, it didn't work. <laughs> In so many ways, Today, you've learned a new way to travel the depth of the universe without the spaceship. But you still want to fight to have your factories, build open the factories. Would that elevate more man, or would that put more man? into the time of harshness of this physicality to stay long. Something very strange is that when a man comes to the point of separation, he wants to stay longer. Why? For his physicality to abuse his soul more? Why we don't understand when the time comes, we submit to it, that allows our soul to take to the dimension of universal community. In so many ways, mankind has a problem with a confirmation of his own existence. Mankind has a problem because he has never understood the twin life of the man.
Mankind needs to be aware of what does it mean What do we want from this existence? Why can't we find peace? In so many ways, Have we managed to find peace? Without actually working for it, to understand it. Do we want to reach that point of peace? Or are we just talkers? Or now that we have shown the way would the man be mature enough to leave? What do we expect of this life for the man? Or have we chosen the path of denial? And we would like to say we are and we possess and we have and in reality, we possess none, we have none, and we are a bunch of hypocrites who claim that we want it, but in fact, by not having it, we have a reason to waste more time to be in the dimension of the life on this planet. Many of you, will have problem in understanding the totality. Many of you will have problem in developing to the next step. Many of you will have to come to understand the truth about your own physical structure. What I would like to take you is to show you how I have taught you in the past and now maybe part of the teaching comes together. If you look at the skull of the man and his two eyes. You'll find out, going back to my old teachings, I said to you, 
get yourself an stereo system to find the position of your soul. And this is the heartbeat of the soul of your physicality. If you look, this is the line, and somewhere here you find. In fact, the passage of the man, if you look, the nose of the man opening is like this. But the image of the interaction of the dimension of the physicality of the fields of the man goes the same way to interact. And this is why when this passes through the center of the, it's just, if you look at the skull of the man, the nose sits like this and the eyes are like this and the soul sits somewhere there. This is why the vision sees, the nose smells the dream, and the tongue speaks the language. You remember the star formation and the free field plasma? that all can take from, there is no difference in the teaching. This is why, when you dream, you smell and taste and speak and you hear. Because, is the dimension of the soul, as it goes, interacts with all. If you are looking for the third eye, that's the position of the physicality of the vision. If you're looking for the path of the soul, the transfer and the true third eye is very fine. That's why some people through reading can collect energy because it comes by the passage through the soul of the man which feeds the physicality of the man. This is where your breathing passage sits, and this is exactly where your soul sits. This is the position of the soul, takes energy from the dimension of the gaseous part of this planet. This is why the nose is positioned there. This goes to feed the heart of the man, once it's balanced its energy with the soul of the man. This is why the two heartbeats work together. Have you ever understood why you snore? Because the soul shuts down to the reality and it just wants to feed the physicality, because it cannot handle injustices. It's the psychosomatic reaction of the soul, not accepting the condition. As the breathing passage, the nostril passes first to feed the soul, not the air to go to the lung, to feed the heartbeat of the man, to energizing is a physical dimensional motion of blood. The breathing of the man is the feeding of the soul of the man. Without it shall be no life. This is what 
all these teachings are about. This is what the totality of the knowledge of the man boils down to. Man has been the passenger of the universe for centuries, without the jumbo jet and the shuttles and God knows spaceships. And the strange thing is that the man is building more and more machines to get the physicality in the open span of the universe, the more physically he gets involved in to confirm his physical existence. And lower and lower he goes down the chute. Now, which spaceship do you want me to build for you? Non-tangibility of the physical systems, or tangibility of the aircraft and systems, or dimension of the unity and harmony between the heartbeat of the soul of the man and the heartbeat of the soul of physicality of the man, that in that process, man finds, as is already tuned in the heart of the universe, into the dimension of universal community. I have freed man from the shackles of physicality today to find peace with itself, but I bet all of you, the first question you ask will be, how do we make the ganses? Why that flight doesn't go and the rest? Means, man is not mature yet. It's very much like you're sitting, watching a scientific program that it gives you knowledge of whatever and your little boy comes and says, Papa, can we go and play football? I watch enough with you, because he doesn't understand the knowledge you're receiving. That child is the physicality of the man. Does not understand and is too attached with the ball calls I have to play with. We are not teaching you religious teaching, we are teaching what you have missed in reality, in the structure of your own life. If you remember, I mentioned this in a different way, regarding the holy man who came to see us in San Sano, and I told him how he changes his breathing to feed his physicality. Now, when I explain the position of the soul of the man, and the way the energy passes it, how the soul of the man feeds the physicality. I'm not changing anything. Now you have matured to understand. Four years ago, we had the man. But even he did not know how he feeds himself for 21 days. He energizes the soul, that through the soul, through the harmony and shortening the breathing and tuning the soul of the physicality to the soul of the man, he feeds through the soul of physicality 
the physical structure of the man through the heartbeat of the man. And as the heartbeat of the soul of the man is tuned with the heartbeat of the physicality, gives the essence of existence to every soul within every cell of the body of the man. Now you understand. Go and fight for homes and lands and cars and clothing. When would you fight for the freedom of the universe to find peace within yourself? Man needs to mature, then man will find peace. First within himself, and then within this planet, and then within the universal community. You already are passengers, you already live, but you're not aware of. You're already told, the beauty of the creation, and how you can have everything, but you still that the boy who wants to play with a ball. So play. I can rotate that ball and make you a speech. Or you can tune into your soul, and the soul of the man becomes that a speech. It's taken 6,000 years to explain what I explained in past 60 minutes to mankind. And you're still fighting for the lands of Jerusalem and the walls of Mexico. One encaging itself and one encaging the others. But in fact, you are encaging the soul of the man. <laughs> Something very strange, for those of you who do not know, but you might know, why does one nation wants to build a wall. It's just because the president of that nation has hand in the construction. And to profit by it is engaging the whole of his nation. And why another nation engages another part of his own nation? It's just because he has used abusive behavior to engage souls the way the founder of the man in that part set the structure. From today, the only wall and the only cage of the man shall be the comprehension and understanding of the man, of the work of his soul, of his heart, his physicality, and the soul, the heartbeat of the soul, of his existence. Then, you decide the span of the universe or the cage of the skull of the man. And within each, man has to find peace. Within itself, and within the universe.
You want to see magic, find the heartbeat of your soul, and find the heartbeat of your physicality soul, and then you will see the magic. The universe will be your oyster, let alone the unicorns, or the cage of the eye of the man, to confirm the confirmation of his existence through the mission of his character. Gather as much wealth as you like. There is no supermarkets, and kill as many as you like. There are no churches to reverse the dimension of the punishment of the soul of the man, in not understanding the elevation of the soul of the man itself. There is no punishment, except creating distance to understanding of the totality. We've seen how abusive behavior changes scale, but in so many ways mankind will come very mature to it very soon. We impose sanctions on those nations who impose theft and robbery as part of their structure under the disguise of the peace. Sanctions by the soul of their own nation's soul, not by no other nation. And the same goes for the mankind. Because from today, the soul of mankind is responsible, now that you understand, for the total souls of the creatures of this planet. Today is promised day. Because now, we have fulfilled the promise that you understand the totality. The Christians have been waiting for it, and the Jews and the Muslims and the Buddhists and the rest. Now we have fulfilled the prophecy. From now on, is in the hand of the man. The beauty of it is that this time you cannot put me on the cross. No, skończyło się na dzisiaj tłumaczenie. Myślę, że co niektórym brakuje słów, co tutaj zostało powiedziane. Tak więc nie wiem, jak ktoś chce coś dołożyć od siebie, to zapraszam.
może ja tak dyrekcyjnie postaram się trochę streścić, co tutaj zostało powiedziane, a cały wykład w zasadzie jest na jeden temat, czyli tego bicia serca, tego rytmu. I tu zaczął doktor Kesze od tej skali makro, pokazał gdzieś tam w gwiazdy, powiedział o biciu serca gwiazd, o tym, że to jakie widzimy, to ich bicie serca, to, to, to określa jak, w jaki sposób je widzimy i zaraz po tym porównał te gwiazdy do duszy, duszy człowieka i, i powiedział o tym, że właśnie to bicie serca duszy harmonizuje bicie każdej komórki i tutaj nasuwa się też to, co słyszeliśmy, ten wykład bodajże rok czy półtora roku temu, który robiliśmy o homeopatii, ta, ta zasada właśnie bicia rytmu jako tej ciągnącej do przodu też energii życiowej, bo jest to przyczyną, można powiedzieć, pewnego rodzaju problemów, kiedy, kiedy ten rytm tego bicia jest zaburzony i, i w homeopatii, tak jak te lekarstwa są przygotowywane, te kuleczki tam właśnie poprzez to rytmiczne bicie gdzieś wklepywana jest ta, ta, ta rytmika, to, to, to bicie, bicie serca, bo może tam to działa na, na poziomie komórek, a tutaj mówimy właśnie o tej harmonizacji totalnej właśnie na poziomie całego wszystkich komórek naszego organizmu. I tutaj doktor Kesze mówi o biciu duszy, fizyczności, biciu serca, można powiedzieć, to, to słowo się tak dziwnie tłumaczy, bo e, mówiąc heartbeat, czyli to bicie serca, tutaj doktor Kesze odnosi to do do duszy fizyczności, do duszy totalności. Wiemy, że ta dusza totalności niejako nie ma tego serca, ale, ale tak jest to, to określenie, można powiedzieć, którego tutaj używamy. I bicie serca tych dwóch dusz, ten rytm, te dwa bicia, i kiedy dochodzą do balansu, do, do zrównania się sił, do tej harmonii, o której tutaj cały czas mówimy, to jest ten moment, który nazywamy na przykład śmiercią, o tym wcześniej było na wykładach, gdzie Doktor Kesze mówił, że ta pewnego rodzaju ta, ta, ta specyfika czy em, charakterystyka em, tej siły duszy fizyczności, kiedy określi określoną e, siłę wtedy, która jest z góry ustalona w momencie w zasadzie e, narodzin, już to jest pewne, kiedy ten cykl życia się zaczyna, wiadomo jest e, do jakiego poziomu dojdzie, zanim się, zanim się zakończy i tutaj myślę, że można sobie te zawątki po, porównać. Po czym było, było też o trzecim oku, oku duszy, o tym, że widzimy przez nie. I tutaj doktor Kesze też po raz kolejny wyjaśnił ten mechanizm właśnie w snu informacji, które przechodzą właśnie, które, które dusza komunikuje i które gdzieś pochłaniamy, przetwarzamy na poziomie naszych komórek, przez które przechodzą, ale na przykład komórek oka, ale rozumiemy tylko pewną część tej komunikacji, tą część, którą w pewien sposób znamy, do której możemy się w jakiś sposób odnieść, a wiele z tych informacji jest w pewien sposób nie, nieprzetwarzanych, nierozszyfrowywanych, jeśli chodzi o tą komunikację na, na poziomie duszy. Ta wiedza, całe te nauki, po raz kolejny doktor Kesze podkreśla ten wątek pokoju i zjednoczenia ze społecznością uniwersalną, w taki sposób, w jaki dostajemy bicie serca, duszy fizyczności do, do tego bicia duszy totalności. Tak samo musimy zrobić to w stosunku do duszy społeczności uniwersalnej. I to jest ta właśnie ta praca dusz w harmonii i szukaniu tego balansu, ale także kiedy mówimy o dostajaniu tego bicia serca do naszej duszy, do, do duszy społeczności uniwersalnej, tutaj mówimy też pewnego rodzaju o zmianie, o dostrojeniu się, o balansowaniu, czyli pewnego rodzaju dojrzałości. Tutaj widzimy, że to jest podobny warunek, o którym mówiliśmy dwie, dwie trzy minuty temu, czyli o tym warunku na przykład śmierci, czyli wracamy do tego zrozumienia, że dzieje się to na dwa sposoby, albo w pewien sposób samo naturalnie do tego dąży, obiera taki kurs i po prostu się wydarza i nie mamy w tym procesie większego wpływu, albo osiągamy to właśnie z poziomu wiedzy, zrozumienia tej, tej dojrzałości, zrozumienia tych, tych procesów i tej wiedzy, którą tutaj doktor Kesze nam przekazuje. I tutaj bardzo proste rady w zasadzie, 
znajdź pokój pomiędzy biciem serca, duszy fizyczności i duszy totalności i wtedy dostrajasz się do duszy społeczności uniwersalnej i także w ten sposób karmimy każdą swoją komórkę właśnie poprzez tą komunikację, to dostrojenie się, wymianę informacji, czyli też wymianę energii. Tutaj też doktor Kasia mówił o tym, że nasze oko w pewien sposób jest okiem duszy społeczności uniwersalnej i myślę, że to możemy rozumieć jako właśnie kreatora spoglądającego na swoją własną kreację oczami tej kreacji, którą, którą tak naprawdę jesteśmy my, jeśli zdarzamy tutaj wymiar tej fizyczności. Czemu podróżujemy duszą, gdy śpi fizyczność? I tutaj po raz kolejny jest to sprowadzane do tego wątku bicia serca, że nie jest już tak dostrojone w trakcie tego stanu snu do bicia serca duszy i z powodu tego gdzieś rozstrojenia innej częstotliwości, można powiedzieć w cudzysłowie, dusza jest w stanie w pewien sposób rozluźnić tą, tą relację z duszą fizyczności. Tak samo ten wątek chrapania, o którym było, czyli faktu, że właśnie ten, ten oddech, to powietrze karmi tylko fizyczność, a nie duszę i tutaj doktor Kasia też mówił o tym o wstydzie bycia w skórze czy w szlafroku człowieka tutaj na tej planecie, że w tym warunku często dusza nie może zdzierżyć braku sprawiedliwości w tym wymiarze fizyczności i w ten sposób to się też objawia tym chrapaniem, więc jeden, jeden wątek, jeden temat a wytłumaczony z paru różnych stron i myślę, że temat dość ciekawy, który będzie się tutaj progresywnie rozwijał wreszcie tego warsztatu i w kolejnym, który już się odbył w zeszły czwartek, także tutaj myślę, wkraczamy już w naprawdę wysoką półkę wiedzy plazmowej i zrozumienia Wszechświata oczami doktora Kesze. Dzięki wszystkim. No, dziękuję Ci, Przemku. Też się przyłączam do tego że to jest jakby taki początek większego zrozumienia tego naszego statku kosmicznego. Tak więc cóż, zapraszam na kolejne warsztaty. Już niedługo w czwartek. Tak więc dziękuję za przetłumaczenie dzisiejszego dzisiejszej części tego wykładu. Dzisiaj mamy niedzielę, 28 kwietnia 2019 rok. Tak więc dziękuję za dzisiaj i do usłyszenia do następnego spotkania. Także dzięki. Nadszedł czas zmiany, przejścia do prawdziwego działania Wszechświata. I nadszedł czas, aby zrozumieć, że używamy stanu materii, by osiągnąć poziom zrozumienia duszy człowieka. Teraz rozumiesz, być może, dlaczego Kreator 
Wysłał swoich posłańców w imię tego, co miałeś. To oni przynoszą uszy, aby można było ich użyć, gdy nadejdzie czas Mesjasza. Mogę nauczyć duszę i przesłanie. Nie by się przeciwstawiać, ale poprzez ich zrozumienie przez tych, którzy stali się Mesjaszami, aby dawać ze swoich dusz, aby ich elewować. Zadanie stało się łatwe. Szkoła jest tutaj i uczniowie są tutaj w oddaniu. Wtedy nie będzie żadnej walki między tym, co nazywają muzułmanami a chrześcijanami. Baranek i lew będą jeść i spać w tym samym gnieździe. Chrześcijanie i muzułmanie będą spać i modlić się w meczecie, w tym samym kościele, w imię ich dusz, nie w imię religii, które są używane do tworzenia tak wielu konfliktów dla korzyści tych, którzy byli hiperaktywnymi dziećmi. Nadszedł czas. Czas zmian jest tutaj. I jak powiedziałem, moje życzenie jest moim rozkazem. Jeśli pragniesz ujrzeć pokój, droga pokoju jest wyłożona bardzo wyraźnie. To dusza świadomości zbiorowej. Poprzez dawanie stworzy tą pozycję zmiany. Nic innego. W duszy człowieka nie ma długopisu. Jestem pewien, że po wejściu do społeczności uniwersalnej nigdy nie zobaczysz niczego zapisanego, ale równowagę pól duszy egzystencji. Staraj się być na tyle pokornym, aby nie stać się aroganckim w mocy, którą zrozumiałeś i posiadłeś. Inaczej wpadniesz w tą samą ścieżkę kościoła i meczetu. To jest to, co obiecaliśmy i to właśnie dostarczyliśmy. Musimy zrozumieć działanie duszy i musimy zrozumieć, że dusza człowieka jest gwiazdą w kosmosie Wszechświata. Jeśli porównamy duszę człowieka i tak wielu nas, 7 miliardów w jednym zbiorze, Ziemia jest jak galaktyka z tak wieloma gwiazdami. Kiedy patrzymy w głąb Wszechświata, widzimy galaktyki z setkami milionów gwiazd. Podobnie jest z planetą Ziemią. Niesie 7 miliardów pięknych gwiazd, które są duszą człowieka. Niesie z sobą duszę tak wielu trylionów zwierząt, roślin i wszystkiego innego. Jeśli więc patrzą ci, którzy nie widzą fizyczności Ziemi, i jej zawartości, co widzą? Widzą galaktykę z wielką ilością pięknych, świecących świateł. Każda według swojej siły. Każda zgodnie ze swoją pozycją. Niemowlę ma piękną duszę, podobnie jak staruszek. Dla tych niefizycznych, którzy nie widzą fizycznego wymiaru tej planety, ale widzą siłę pola, jesteśmy gromadami gwiazd. Ludzka rasa, każda pojedyncza dusza, nikt z daleka nie widzi. To jest dusza rybaka, to jest dusza kosmologa, to jest dusza prezydenta. Wszystkie świecą bez względu na fizyczność. To jest magia. Oto co nowa nauka musi przynieść człowiekowi. Kiedy patrzymy przez naszą duszę, widzimy tylko gwiazdy w innych duszach. I to jest przełom. To jest zrozumienie. Na tym właśnie polegają te wszystkie nauki. Dojście do dojrzałości następnego poziomu, aby zrozumieć daleki kosmos. 
ty Junior. Wszechświat jest ostrygą dla tych dusz, które służą. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy do wejścia w kosmos. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy, aby stać się częścią uniwersalnej społeczności, która została obiecana. Nigdy nie obiecywałem wam nieba. Zawsze obiecywałem wam elewację człowieka, aby przyłączył się do rodziny. A teraz macie klucz. To wy musicie otworzyć drzwi, aby zrozumieć, że mogę elewować duszę, tych ludzi lub milionów innych dusz, że fizyczne życie na tej planecie zmieni się. Wtedy jestem godny bycia częścią społeczności uniwersalnej, by być, aby służyć, aby się rozwijać, by być tam, aby być częścią, że w cyklu życia wszechświata staje się w byciu częścią, staje się częścią totalności. Kiedy człowiek osiągnie ten punkt, pojawi się nowy wymiar w sile duszy człowieka, który jest poza wyobrażeniem zrozumienia życia fizycznego. To jest brama do otwarcia nowego życia w nowym wymiarze, co jest poza wyobrażeniem tego, co mogliście nazwać nowym początkiem, nowym cyklem, gdzie ten cykl niesie ze sobą źródło stworzenia życia we Wszechświecie i Unikosie. To jest elewacja duszy, aby służyć. Stała się kluczem. Nie trąż życia fizycznego. Czas jest odpowiedni, nadszedł czas, aby człowiek przeszedł przez ten proces. 